You're sitting on a bench, you have to carry a gun because there's so many nutcases out there that want retaliation, you know. An Ohio judge apparently ambushed outside the courthouse, shot several times, but able to return fire. Tonight, while investigators look to solve the mystery of what sparked that attack, a local attorney wonders what if, what if he had answered a call from that gunman. News 5 Frank Wiley spoke with that attorney and joins us now with more on what he had to say. Danita, the attorney is questioning every conversation he had with Nathaniel Richmond. He never expected any. A family went from one tragic headline to the next. A rape conviction put his son, a Steubenville High School football player, in lockup. Four years later, crossfire outside Jefferson County's courthouse will put Nathaniel Richmond in his grave after he took aim at a judge. Our thoughts and prayers are with Judge Brzees. He has served Jefferson County um, for decades, and right now our main priority is to make sure that he is safe. Witnesses watched. Some saw Judge Brzees fire back. Others saw a probation officer return fire. Attorney Walter Madison heard what happened and wondered, what if he had picked up? I don't know what his phone calls meant that I missed yesterday. I, I, I don't know. Madison represented Richmond's son, Malik Richmond. He served about 10 months for his juvenile conviction. Back then, it was another judge who sentenced him. Over the years, uh, Nathaniel has been a person that sought my counsel on a number of things, um, from uh, being a, a parent to uh, just dealing with the things that we must deal with in life every day. I can't help but wonder if I would have been in some position to help counsel against this. Judge Brzees was flown to a Pittsburgh area hospital. Judge Brzees underwent emergency surgery and is expected to survive. While authorities have not commented on a motive, Nathaniel Richmond was a plaintiff along with several others in a wrongful death case overseen by Brzees.